Uh-oh. Looks like things are about to get cranked up to the max! Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Ryu Soldier DX Max Ryu Soul Changer! So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have the changer. We have Max Ryuso Red. Oh, on the side of the box, we have the changer. On the other side of the box, we have Max Ryuso Red again with the Max Ryuso. Up top, things, stuff, open. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. Does this, that, the other things and stuff. More stuff, more things, more things, and more stuff. And on the bottom, you have warning. Don't eat anything in this box. That can be very bad for you. And we have Sad Pac-Man. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Max Ryu Soul Changer, and this is what Ryu Soul Red uses to achieve his big power up on the show. Before we take a look at the claws here, let's take a look at the Max Ryu Soul. And this thing is uh it's quite large, but you can see this big Dino head right there done in that beautiful silver metallic red. You get the nice gold in there as well. Very cool. You get a little bit of like kind of rocky detailing around it. And the other side, you can see right there. The detailing is there, just not really, uh, you know, not, uh, you know, any uh, anything three-dimensional. But still, it's molded in there, but still pretty cool. Now, as far as what you can use this in, um, basically this is only made to work in the Max Fusel Changer. You can't use this in the regular Fusel Changer. You can't use this in the Fusel Can. It does not fit. Um, the only other thing you can actually plug this into is the, uh, the, Mosa, the Mosa Blade. It'll fit in that, but since the Mosa Blade does not have a reader, it doesn't matter what you plug into it. It's not going to change the noises, so it won't change anything, but it, 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 will, it will plug into that. So, you know, hey, things and stuff, stuff and things. But there is the Max Ryu Soul. And uh, just for comparison here, just so you can see just how large it is. Actually, height-wise, pretty much the same height as a regular Ryu Soul, but uh, definitely a lot bigger in other ways, as you can see. So there you have that. So now let's bring in the Max Ryu Soul Changer, and this thing looks quite cool. I do quite like this. I like the design of it. I dig it. You can say just a big old, you know, handheld, you know, claw weapon here. Uh, my only real complaint about this is that this opening here is not really big enough. I mean, granted, it's it's made for the little ones. It's made for the wee ones. And even with my small hands, I can't really hold it comfortably. Like, this should be sitting, like, pretty much, like, right there in your palm. But that's as far as I can go, so I can't really close my hand around it without just kind of doing that so I can't really hold it comfortably I basically just kind of have to like, like gorilla grip it there like that <laughs> to use it but you know that's my only real complaint but again it's made for the wee ones so for them probably fits perfectly but yeah hey it is what it is but let's get it close here so we can take a look at the details you can see the claws here are done and that kind of softish plastic there we do have some silver in here in the central claw. You got this big gold button right there. Hi, you can see me in it. <laughs> this is a nice gold chrome with the Hue Soldier symbol right there. Also some black trim. Got some nice metallic coloration going on here. We have two slots for two Hue Souls. You can see Hue Soul. Hue Soul goes there and there. And you get some more of that nice gold. You have an activation button here. We have an activation button here. It's the handle itself. It has some detailing. It's got some claws of its own in the back. Also has some detailing going on. Now the battery compartment is right there. It takes uh, true triple A's, which are not included. You will have to get those yourself. Your on off button is right here and your speaker is right there. So, without further ado, let's get down to the noises. So again, your on-off switch is right here. Turn it on, and you get... It tells you what it is, in case you already forgot. And now we can get down to some noises. So if we push the button on the side here... You get a slash. Slash, slash. You can rapid fire that. You get a slash, slash to your heart's content because you're scared of the claw! You're scared of the claw. Oh, 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 oh,
you got your slashing noise there, and there is this button on the side. Let me raise up a little bit here. You do have this button on the side here. Now, per the instructions, they want you to push the button with the Ryu Sulken, with the button of the Ryu Sulken. You can just push the button with your hand, it doesn't matter. But if, I guess if you want to do it officially, you're supposed to use the Ryu Sulken to push the button. But we're going to push the side button. Nice standby music. And just push the button. And it yells at you. I love that it yells at you. I'm sorry, I just love these toys that yell at me. <laughs> this, for some reason, makes them more fun. Now, this does have a, uh, a random noise. And uh, we'll see if we can get it. There you go, there you have that little randomized attack noise there, which is pretty cool, but yeah. So that's basically what it does on its own. Actually, no, there is one more thing it does on its own. We do have voice phrases. So if you, if you, little, 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 this is where my tongue stops working. If you push the big gold button, we get some voice phrases. From Ryu Sol Red himself. And that's it. That just cycles back to the beginning. So you have three voice phrases there from Ryu Sol Red, which is pretty cool. So there. Now that's everything that it does on its own. So now let's get down to some Max Ryu Sol changing. So we'll bring in the Max Ryu Sol and we'll plug it into this slot. If you plug it into this slot, it, it, it won't work. It doesn't allow you to. It has to go in this slot here. So let's get down to it. Stand by music. And when you're ready to go, just push the gold button. And there you go. You're transformed into Max Ryu Soul Red. And you can see when the Max Ryu Soul opens up, you get this really cool. Got kind of a dino head going on there, done in gold, red, some nice metallic color there for the eyes. Love that, that's really cool. And that just completes the look, and that looks awesome in my opinion. I love that, really cool. And you can push the button on the side. And you still get your slashing noises, you can still do the, uh, the charge here. And it'll still shout at you, but to do the official final attack, you push the gold button. Explosions and explosions. There you have that. And that is pretty cool right there. So to extract the soul, we can just close it up. And the uh, you can't just pull it out. It is locked into place. So don't just yank it out or you will break something. The release button is right here, this red portion. And you just push it. And it disengages the soul. So there you have that. So as you can see by the symbols here, you can use your other Ryu Souls on this. You can use a combination of regular souls and super souls. Now, what is the difference between a regular soul and a super soul? Well, I'll show you. So here we have the red Ryu Soul, and here we have the, uh, the darkness Ryu Soul, which is a super soul. And the difference here is that the super souls have this, uh, this little ledge between their feet 
that the regular Ryu souls do not have. So that's how you tell the difference between a regular soul and a super soul is that ledge there. So there you go. So now let's do some more attacks using various combinations of Ryu souls. Now you have to use two souls. You can't just use one. If you just plug one in, nothing will happen. Nothing special will happen anyway. It'll just play the same noises it always plays. You have to use two souls to get the attacks. And it doesn't matter what soul you plug into what side, it'll still do the same thing regardless. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use two regular souls. So we'll use the Red Ryu soul. And for some reason, I always have a hard time getting these to slide in. There we go. And we'll use the, uh, the guy soul because it seems appropriate in this situation. That's my standby music. And push one. So that is the attack you get with two regular souls. And if you push the gold button, it just does the attack over again. So that's what happens there. If you push the side button, It just does the full max, so that's all it does. So that's what it does with two regular souls, and we'll just pop these out. And now we will use a regular soul and a super soul. So we'll bring the heard of soul back in. Come on. And we'll bring in the uh, the shining soul. Just a little faster. So there you have that. And again, if you push the gold button, it'll just play the noise all over again. So there you have that. So now we will use two super souls. So we'll do shining. And the darkness. It's all kinds of fast. And there you have that. So, there you go. So there you have the Max Ryu Soul Changer, and I really like this thing. This thing is fun. I really dig it. Love the design, love the noises, really love the noises on this thing. So yeah, overall, this thing is really fun, really cool, in my opinion anyway, so. There you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Super Sentai and Ryu Soldier Toys. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Ryu Soldier playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Ryu Soldier DX Max Ryu Soul Changer. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, boom in your face.